Hello Vogue Beauty Secrets, it's Gigi. I'm so excited to finally be here to share my secrets. I don't know if there are that many secrets, but something a little bit more than my everyday looks. Okay, let's get started. I've already washed my face. While I was pregnant, I really moved towards like really clean products, natural. So I used a brand called Oliveda and it's just olive tree extract and they have everything from cleanser to moisturizer oils. So I really enjoyed using that, but that was also like during the summer. And now I have moved into kind of my winter routine, which really for me is about a thicker uh, moisturizer because my skin gets so dry. I mean, my skin's always dry. This is the moisturizer that I just started using. I'm really loving it. This is um, Otisite, this is the very, very dry skin. This is a new bottle because I go through this quickly. And I really like to exfoliate in high school. I feel like maybe I did it um, a little too much. I would use like that St. Ives apricot scrub, which I loved. I used it till pretty recently, actually. Whenever I'm working a lot or I'm wearing a lot of makeup or I'm coming from a shoe, I use Cetaphil because I just feel like it really cleans my skin. I've always really gone for like drugstore skincare. I don't, I don't think, I mean, unless pregnancy I feel like is different and I really wanted something clean for that. But before that, I really just wanted good product and I don't always think that you have to pay a lot for that. So during fashion week, I think is when my skin gets the most irritated because I wear makeup the most during fashion week. It's literally every day, all day multiple makeup looks, um, multiple hands. They take the same makeup brush all the way down the line on 30 girls. So it touches a lot of faces and I feel like I, that's when I start to get irritated around and spots around my chin, um, around my nose, obviously also stress too and not sleeping probably enough. I do extractions myself. Um, I've never really had like a facialist. I don't know. I'd rather like do it to myself and learn how to do it gently. And then a strange thing that I do, which my mom taught me, is I put toothpaste on spots at night and it dries it out. I might get in trouble for saying that, but that's what I do. Another thing that I like to do with my moisturizing and my skincare before I start makeup is to moisturize my lips. When you moisturize your lips in the beginning, then it can kind of sit on your lips through your routine so that when you get to lipstick at the end, it's sat for a bit. This is called the 101 ointment, but it's like for everything. I think all purpose ointments are great. You can put it on your lips. Then I dab it where my skin feels dry, sometimes like on the tip of my nose. <laughs> um, and also I find that like right where my eyebrows are, where they start gets really dry. I don't know why, but I like to sometimes dab it there because I just think that eyebrow product, like pencil and stuff goes on better. So sometimes I do that. During pregnancy, I think the thing that changed most about my skin was the pigmentation. I've had like this darkness near my eye from before pregnancy, but it got really dark when I was pregnant. I tried to wear hats in the sun and sunblock. Also like let it happen because I think it's natural. I knew it was going to go away after I gave birth. And I think just like to not be hard on yourself and know that it's part of the process. And it's it has, it's lightened. No, it's, it's not bad. All right, so headed into makeup, the base. I really like a base that doesn't look dry. So I like a little bit of a glow, but I obviously don't want to look oily. So I'll kind of show you a mixture that I've come up with. I first start with this Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I just use like a couple drops. And it's kind of the same technique that I use for my moisturizer. This is her flawless filter. I love this wand. In high school, I wasn't really like a huge makeup person. I think that I became more of a makeup person when I had to be in public places. Or like, I guess the more I got photographed, the more I learned like what looked good on me. Um, and also through makeup artists, I learned what was good on my face. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I just put it on my finger like that. So it takes like these more like illuminating thin formulas and it gives it a little bit of 
coverage in places that I want it. The way that I'm going to do it is to apply foundation with your hands because then you can really mix it in to the moisturizer and your skin is still there. Also, I always take it and blend it into my hairline. When I look back on my first red carpets, when I didn't have makeup artists or like someone to call, I would obviously like do my own makeup. And now it's even like people pull up those pictures and are like, oh, Gigi's nose looks different in these pictures than now. Or like they'll talk about something with my face or like this has changed on Gigi. And it's really like, that's the power of makeup. Like I've never done anything to my face, but the way that I've learned that I'll show you to like contour in certain places, put bronzer in some places and leave it out in other places, something that you have to learn. So I would just put it like everywhere. And then it just looks, it's all one shape. I'm gonna teach my high school self what she should have done. So now I'm gonna go in with um, concealer. I like, to let concealer sit for a little bit because I think that the formula becomes thicker. I'll move into brow. I think if Bella and I ever do makeup together, I don't know if we really pay attention to each other in terms of like what we do. I, I just think makeup's like so personal. I just think it's different for every face. So I usually take like a pencil like this um, and kind of fill in. Tapping keeps it from getting thinner and it keeps it from breaking up. Someone once told me, I can't remember who, maybe my mom was just like on set, never let anyone pluck your eyebrows. I think that was a really good tip because I've never had like an over plucked brow mishap i have had mishaps though <laughs> like during fashion week where my brows have to be bleached for one show and dyed back to my natural brow for the next show if you do that too quickly your brows don't take the color so then i go to the next show with like orange brows it's kind of a laugh but this is maybelline's brow precise it's called a micro pencil because it's really Thin, and I like that because it creates more of like a hair effect. I think my favorite makeup event of the year for me is the Met Gala and really being able to take a look that I'm gonna wear and create the rest of it based on that. Like I just think that's so fun and I get to really be in the creative seat and I just love that you can make it really a memorable makeup moment and hopefully people have fun looking at it as much as we have fun creating it. Brow wax and what you do is you take spray and you spray it on here and then take the brush and do it back and forth. I love this because it just sticks the brows right in the place you want it and it dries so beautifully. So that's my brow, done. I like it fluffy, I like it pretty natural and looking fierce. This is Maybelline's Fit Me powder and I'm just gonna take a Fenty brush and just dab. Um, do I not blend that in? <laughs> okay, that's blending now. I like a little bit of shine on my chin and I like it a little bit like on this part. So I don't wanna take away too much. We're gonna move on to bronzer now, or contouring. Start here. And then I'm gonna take the same powder. This is a makeup artist trick. With like a round, smaller brush. Blow. This is my favorite. Take a little and put it right on the bottom and kind of connect it like a little arrow. Okay. Now we're gonna go into eyeshadow. Nudes of New York palette. 
more of like an orangey tan. I go right under my, my brow bone here. Then I go for my eyebrow down and then across. I have a really high brow bone, so I think it, it adds a good dimension and it pushes that part of my lid back so that my eyes pop more. I really think about makeup the most as like taking a moment with myself and like being creative. And that doesn't always mean that you have somewhere to go or someone to see or someone to do it for. So I'm gonna take same colors and just connect from there under my eye. Um, but I think also for me, it's really about just like, yeah, focusing on myself for half an hour. This is a compact that I've had since high school. I think it's my mom's, sorry mom. Anyways, I like that it just has bronzers and a bit of like a peachy blush color. And I take, this is the Patrick Ta face brush. And I take that, go around what people call like the three or whatever. One person that will not hit the runway without touching her own face is Joan Smalls. Joan, I'm calling you out, girl. But she's good, you know why? She taught me to bring my own concealer and she taught me that no one looks out for you the way that you look out for you. And we're really not supposed to do this as models because we are employees. We show up to work and we get our makeup done exactly how we're supposed to look and we're supposed to just walk on the runway. But sometimes you don't always look that cute. So we hide in the bathroom and what we are doing is contouring ourselves. And you learn to do it in a way that like the designers, I mean, Joan's different. Everyone knows Joan does it, but the designer's not gonna be like, you, like you completely change the makeup look, but you add little things to yourself that make you feel confident. This is strange, but I do mascara, then I finish my blush and highlighter because then I like to go back to the mascara and reapply. So I curl first. And then, bam. Blush, Stilla. I like to smile and start on the apples in my cheeks and then kind of blend it out. Like that. Master stroke. So I just pull it from there to there, look at that, bam. And then I go thin line right down the middle of my nose. And I put right some over my lip. And then I take kind of like the edge, like tilt it a little bit. And sometimes if I'm feeling extra poppin', not only will I do the cream, but I will take the powder master chrome Now I'm gonna move on to lips. So I just fold a towel in half and blot it off. So like your lips are now moisturized, but you've taken that top layer of product off. I really like this Patrick Ta lip liner because of the shape. So it's like a square. I used to be much more of like a matte lipstick person and I feel like I'm Appreciating a little sparkle and shine nowadays. This is lifter gloss. So this is really cool because it has like a lifting serum in it. So it like really plumps your lips. Yay. I'm not a pro. I'm only in my coming on fourth month of new momhood, but I would just say that we should all try to focus on taking time for ourselves. I know that sometimes I'm not washing my face these days. I don't brush my hair for a few days. Um, so I just wanna remind those of you watching that this is not how I look every day. Um, sometimes I go a week without touching makeup or you know, just putting on deodorant is like, we're doing great. So just remind yourself that you're doing the best you can you're doing amazing and to just give yourself
grace. And uh, if you brushed your hair this week, I'm really proud of you.